All right, so I've got the, the new Canon R5 firmware installed, 1.8.1. And even though it was a big letdown, because we were all hoping for something a little bit bigger, it did include something interesting, and that's IBIS high resolution shot. And what happens there is uh, it stitches together nine photographs to make one giant JPG file. So uh, I turned it on. I'll, you go to uh, page five of your uh, red menus and you'll see it there and it's just on and off. There's no descriptions, there's no nothing. Um, so you turn that on and then uh, you want to put it on a tripod or something because if you don't, it's gonna, it's not gonna stitch right. It's not, it's not to the point where it can seamlessly stitch it perfectly. So you want to be on a really good tripod. I just did it on my desk and I took a shot across the room at my uh, at the corner of my room. So I'm going to put that up next and show you what I came up with. But um, it's definitely a huge file. It came out to 138 megabytes and it only exports as a JPG file. I was able to open the JPG no problem straight from the camera. Um, but, uh, and it, it does look pretty good. I shot it uh, with my uh, 35 millimeter lens in F1.8. I probably should have set that to something like uh, F8 so I could have got more details, but I, I just did a quick and dirty test. So um, and this is what it looks like. And uh, I'm going to zoom in and move around a little bit so you can see but uh even though it's not exactly what we were all hoping for i was really hoping to get rid of the 30 minute time limit maybe they'll still do that i don't know maybe they'll save that for the r5 too i don't know that but uh this is just something fun to use i can't imagine using it all the time i might never use it again i don't know but it's there and this is how it works so happy shooting